Hey there, it's Kathy House with Be Creative with Kathy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here to show you a cute bundle that's in Stampin' Up!'s annual catalog. It's called the Zany Zoo. Like I said, it's been in the annual catalog so it's been around for a while. But yet, this is my first time playing with it. And real quick, let me explain that I have a niece, her name is Carly. And Carly has some friends and somehow or another I have become a celebrity amongst them. And anyway, long story short, and if you want the long story, we could talk about the pogo stick and the video and Carly falling on her fanny, and I don't know, that's how it all started. I'm not quite sure I have all the details right at all. But anyway, Carly asked me if I would make her friends some birthday cards that they thought it would be really, she thought it would be really nice if they got birthday cards from famous Aunt Kathy. So they are in a dance company, that's all I know about these girls, and I thought that the Zany Zoo would be the perfect way to make a card for these three young ladies. And so I've done a lot of the work you can see, but I've done most of the work here for you. I've used the Zany Zoo Designer Series paper, and now I had my brother scan and cut, cut out as much of the Designer Series paper as I could, although he didn't do a very good job. He only cut out these big animals here, and then I had to fuzzy cut the little ones. But like I said, I've done that for you in advance, because the Zany Zoo designer series paper has all these little critters look how cute they are on there and then the back of course is just a black and white print and then some of the dies in the die set cut out that designer series paper that's just a perk <laughs> <coughs> excuse me i should have warned you too i'm getting over the flu kind of thing and i have this nasty cough i'm sucking on a um, cough drop so hopefully that'll help but let's try to make it through the card that's why i try to do everything in advance so <coughs> Excuse me, so it wouldn't take very long. Okay, let's just go and jump in there. I'll show you what I have. I have a piece of thick basic white. This is going to be our card base. So it's a half a sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half score at four and a fourth. And we just fold that in half. We're going to, well, let's go ahead and stamp on the inside. And I forgot, no, no, here I have it right here. On the inside, because I am a little late with their birthday. <coughs> <coughs> So sorry, excuse me. I'm going to stamp that so I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just uh, stretching out the celebration. I absolutely love that stamp, and I use it all the time. Not that my cards are always late, but sometimes they are. And it's not usually because I forgot. It's just because I got a little bit distracted and didn't get a mail in time. So this is like the perfect little stamp. I've inked it up in black memento ink, and I'm going to just set it here where it looks good on the inside of our card. And then I'll set that aside to dry, and look, we got that all done. Then, and oh, hang on a second. Shoot. I'm gonna grab the die set so I have I know the name for you. Using this um, Radiant Stitch dies, this big one here, I've cut that from a piece of black. That's gonna be like the front or the base of our card. And then I have a little scrap here of basic white and this is four and a fourth by three inches and then from the die set I've cut the what I'm going to call the curtain parts so this strip here and I don't even know how thick this is I just kind of guessed I guess I could look on my mat here so it looks about like a half an inch here I'm going to just take some mini dimensionals three in fact and just run them across the top here and then I'm going to line this up with the top of this piece of basic white that again I said is four and a fourth by um, three and then I should tell you this too usually all my measurements are on my blog and I've kind of decided well really I'm in the deciding mode as to whether I'm gonna keep my blog or if I'm gonna start a different blog through TAMS which is these are our stamps so um, I'll have the measurements on there both places in my blog, on my Wix blog and on my stamp. <laughs> my, these are my stamps blog, but you can find the measurements there anyway. And then if you get a chance and you look through both the blogs, let me know which one's easiest and which one's more useful so I can decide which blog to go with. But anyway, so you see how I just put that so it's flush with the top and then I cut it down so it's the same size as the top. And then with the little curtain sides here, I'm going to put some dimensionals on there, and I'm going to kind of avoid the top, so I have room for my little um, curtain there, and just set this here, 
I think this is a really cute little card. And with all those little dancing pieces from the designer series paper, it's just adorable. And I have to be honest with you, I did kind of look around Pinterest. Hang on, I think my, no, I think I'm going to stick with it as it is. I think that looks, no, I put my dimensional too high here. I have to fix that. This dimensional has to come off. Let me see if I can get it off without tearing my paper. That was a bad idea there. There we go. Okay. And then I think to hold that down, I'm going to just put a little bit of glue there at the top. Maybe. Okay. There, that's what happens when you have live and your glue <coughs> does not want to cooperate. <coughs> and now here goes the cough. Oh, brother. This might be a video for the delete pile. Let's try this glue. Let's see if this glue works since that one's not working. Yeah, there we go. That one's working just fine. And we'll lay this flat on there. And then there, that looks a lot better. Okay, this one, let's put our dimensional a little bit lower so I don't screw that up again. So on the bottom here, we want at the bottom here, I'll put lots of room at the top. And then just for good measure, I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue up here at the top. A little bit goes a long way. Did I take both this? Yeah, I did take the back heat off. And then line that up with this side. And look how cute we have our little curtain there. Now, I probably you normally would tell you to stamp. <coughs> Excuse me, stamp first. <coughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then um, put your curtain on. But in this case, I want to see which little animal. But I think I want to use this little hippo here. And she goes this way. So I'm going to place her about there. So I want my greeting or my happy birthday to you to be about there. So I'm going to just hope and pray that I can get it stamped up good. Let's do one practice shot over here on a piece of scratch paper. Okay, and then we can set right there. And I'm going to hold that and let that ink sink in. Yeah, look how cute that is. Let's put her up on some dimensionals. I'm going to cover up my ink pad so I don't get my hands all in it. Now, I think I was mentioning that I went on Pinterest to get some ideas and try to find it. And I took a few ideas and then made it into my own. So if the card kind of looks familiar and you did something close, please in the comments let me know so we can give you kudos on, on the card. Because I cased a few of them and kind of came up with my own. That's how I like to um, be creative is to steal or copy other people's ideas and then just turn it into my own kind of card here. So I think that looks straight. We just laid it right there on there and then bring in that card base that we stamped on now. And I'm gonna use that liquid glue again and then just glue that after I throw my glue across the room to the front of my card here. And now with that liquid glue, I can kind of slide it into place So it looks straight. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to hold it there for just a second. Let that glue do its job. And there you go. Now, the one thing that I think makes the card is I have two tiny pieces of purple glimmer paper. Now, this purple glimmer paper is that um, um, three-colored glimmer paper. It comes like this. It has the gorgeous grape and um, petal pink, I think that is, and then peacock, look how pretty that is. And I thought that purple paper, or that purple glimmer paper would look perfect for those little tie backs. So just a little tiny bit of glue right there. And then I'm gonna just set my little, and I know, oops, where did it go? It's stuck to my finger. I know it's hanging off the edge here, but I'm gonna just trim that down. And I probably should have done that before I put it all together, but to be honest with you, I kind of forgot. I'm going to tie this one down, but to trim down 
that little piece of glimmer paper won't be any big deal. Looky there, look how cute. And with our paper snips here, I'm just gonna cut that little piece off right there. Doesn't have to be perfect, no one's grading on perfection, that's for sure. And look how cute that little bit of sparkle adds to the card like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take, these are little more, or little flowers from the die set too. In the designer series paper, one of the colors is um, Pool Party. So I used the Pool Party paper to cut out these little flowers. I thought they'd be a little accent piece on the front. Hang on, I wanna take that little center out of the flower. And I don't know why, cause I'm gonna cover it up with some um, gems, but I wanted that out of there. Now, if you're looking at my take a pick tool, and you haven't seen a tip that looks like this. It kind of looks like a weeding tool from the Cricut. This is part of the additions. It ha it comes with this tip, which also, let me see if I can get it out of there, has a really fine pokey tint. See, this is what the pokey, whoop, that's not the right one. This one has a pokey tool. Nope, none of them have a pokey tool on them. I have a stylus, I have a putty knife, but this is a, the other tip. And then it comes with a, um, rotary blade and a um oh a knife a carving knife so that's the other additional kit that you can buy for your take a pick tool and i have fallen in love with this tip for um like poking things out i like it better than even the normal pokey tool so you'll see me use that all the time and this one here and i really i want to make a um bookmark card with that rotary blade, I think it would, uh, we're good to do like a perforated and you could pull the bookmark off the card, but that would be another video. We'll have to hang on for that one. I'll work on that for next time. So you saw me put a little glue dot on all my little flowers and I'm going to just pluck them off of here and kind of scatter them on my card. And then there's a sticky side or a sticky part inside that hole where that glue dot is. So I'm going to take those gems. Now I thought they were right here. Oh, I know they were right here. Here they are. These are free with celebration. And they come in that pool party that matches my little flowers. So I'm going to just take those and set those in the center. So if you decide to get the Zany Zoo bundle, you can make sure you order during celebration and then you get these little gems for free. There we go. Look how cute that is. And just like that, then I'm gonna take one of these extra little, I think this is a weasel, and put a little bit of liquid glue on her. Might as well use them all now that I have them all cut. And then I'm gonna just set her right here simply on the inside of my card. And look how cute that is. So there you go. So if you happen to have some dancers and you need a cute little stage card, this is a great idea. So let me show you the other ones that I made. I have the little hippo here. And then here I have a little leopard. Look how cute she is. And here's the little dancing sheep. And this is the little dancing antelope. Is that what that is? Or is it a moose? No. A deer? I don't know. This thing there. But the... <laughs> <coughs> excuse me there you go so if you need the measurements be sure and visit my blog if you have a chance go ahead and visit both of my blogs let me know what you think of each one and which one um is better because i'm trying to decide between the two blogs that i have right now also if you're on my wix blog email list we might be having to move you over to my other email list because like i said i might be getting rid of my wix blog Alrighty, that's all I have today. Thanks for putting up with me and my cough. Hopefully by next week I'll be 100% better and I'll be more clear-headed. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.